missing kid's aunt. Andrea Sankom is on the line with us from Texas. Andrea, first of all, please let me say how sorry we are uh, to you and your family for the loss of your sister and for what I'm sure you all are trying to, to deal with right now. Um, but we really want to try to help bring, bring Hannah home. So I'm wondering, what can you tell us about the suspect? Is this a guy that you knew? You know, I've met him one time, and that was about two and a half years ago before I moved to Texas. And there was nothing out of the ordinary about him. He seemed like just a genuinely nice guy. He was close to the kids. And, you know, he was good friends with my, my sister and my brother-in-law. Had he been friends with the family long? Yes. From what I understand, he had been friends with them for years. And you don't know that there was any, obviously, romantic relationship going on between him and your mother, or your sister, rather? No. Now, what, what do you know about the father in this case? All I know is he's not living in the States. Um, I talked to him yesterday, and he's, he's a wreck. He's flying in there. He'll be in San Diego, I believe, this morning. Okay, did he know this gentleman, Mr. DiMaggio? Yes, he was friends with him as well. Okay. But I guess he didn't know they were even over there this weekend, so. Your family, I think, made a statement, and, and you believe that that child's body that was recovered is that of Ethan. What makes you believe that? Just from everything I've been hearing, I was, I was told that it was a little boy's body, and... It would have, you know, the only kids that were reported to be over there were Hannah and Ethan. So there was nothing about Mr. DiMaggio that made you uncomfortable or made you feel like he was a danger to your family in any way? No, not when I met him. And no one ever voiced anything like that to you and your family? You know, he, he added me on Facebook when I, when I first met him. And the only thing he ever posted on Facebook was just really in deep, thoughts, I guess mm -hmm. you would say, but, you know, I never thought anything of it until now. Well, but it was never, nothing, anything that would lead to him doing something like this, though. Well, Andrea, um, we are we actually going to get into that a little bit later and let folks know what he was saying, but um, just one other quick last question. If he's watching and he has Hannah, what do you want to say to him right now? I want him to bring my niece home to her family. She needs, she needs her family, and he needs to get her home. 